Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Thunder Ducky. Yeah, I am recording this in a bathroom. Just moved, looking for some privacy to do these videos for you guys. And currently, this is the best situation that I have. So, yes, I am back. I am working on content for you guys. The reactions for Tom McDonald are kind of put on hold for the moment, just until I can figure out a situation to where I'm able to do those. A lot of five or six people walking around in the background. But today, we're going to be talking about the Kyle Rittenhouse controversy that has happened while I was away. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what's going on with Kyle Rittenhouse, who is no... Uh, Stranger 2 controversy, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the video, and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other content that I have coming, including the gaming stuff, which I am going to be having um, put up as soon as I possibly can. I have three videos up uh, recorded right now. Um, if you guys want those, post those down in the comments below. The only thing is I don't have commentary on them, however, they would be content for you guys to watch. So I might do like little introductions and then upload them anyway so you guys have something to watch and I can kind of keep the channel alive because <clears throat> it has been about a week since I've been able to do anything with the move in, my mom's car getting hit by the semi and that kind of stuff. So, But for all of you that are new here, thank you. Uh, I haven't really been able to sit down and say thank you very much um, with all the move and all the hassle that's happened with it. And let's go ahead and hop into the Kyle Rittenhouse controversy. So. A person that has dealt with serious controversy before is back in the sight of yet another one. And this one is very, very, very disgusting, I would like to add. This time, just like the last, for something that is entirely un-American and disgusting to see, as I just said. And yes, this is, this is really gross because of how un-American this truly is. So once again, Kyle Rittenhouse, whom defended himself from would-be attackers in Kenosha, was put on trial for his actions with an AR-15. Short version, he went across state lines carrying an AR-15 to protect people during the summer of love. Some guys came at him, one with a skateboard, another one with a handgun, or they might have all had handguns. He shot one, turned him into a skeddy arm, and the dude even came out in the trial and said that he was in, in fact attacking um, Kyle. But everybody put the spin on it that Kyle was acting violently and assaulting people with the rifle. And this is a, just a side note, they're not assault rifles. Video games like to popularize it, calling them assault rifles. Movies like to popularize it, calling them assault rifles. AR stands for Armalite Rifle. It is not an assault rifle. If I pick up a hammer and attack somebody with it, then it becomes an assault hammer. Or a chair, like the one I'm sitting on right now. If I hit somebody with it, it's not. It's actually not even called that. It's called assault with a deadly weapon. But they want to demonize the AR and take it away from us. That's why they want it called an assault rifle. So there's a level of fear associated with it. It's not an assault rifle. It's an Armalite rifle. Okay. Now he is under attack by the very same people, by the way, the very same people who defended him for doing one of the most American things a citizen can do. Talking about this time, which is choosing who to vote for. Now, the whole point behind freedom is to be able to vote or do pretty much what you want, right? Unless, of course, it's deemed illegal, murder, theft, that kind of thing. <clears throat> and, you know, I, as an avid Trump supporter, I don't agree with the people that voted for Biden. I don't agree with the people that are voting for Kamala right now. However, they have that right. That is their right. And... Again, I don't agree with what they're saying. I don't agree with what they're doing, but they have that right. Now, when it comes to <coughs> stealing an election, no, they don't have that right because that is illegal. But when it comes to actual people doing their actual voting, they have a right to do that, whether I agree with it or not. And I believe Kyle threw his hat behind uh, Ron Paul, I believe his name was. Let's see, Frittenhouse came out to say he would not be voting for Donald Trump. But we'll be writing in Ron Paul, which this video states. And yes, I do have a short little video for you guys right here. Hi, I'm Kyle Rittenhouse, Outreach Director for Texas Gun Rights. A lot of people are upset that I said I'm going to be writing in Ron Paul for President of the United States. And that is true. I will be writing in Ron Paul. Unfortunately, Donald Trump had bad advisors making him bad on the Second Amendment. And that is my issue. If you cannot be completely uncompromisable on the Second Amendment, I will not vote for you, and I will write somebody else in. We need champions for the Second Amendment, or our rights will be eaten away and eroded each day. I support my decision, and I have no take-backs. 
I am Kyle. So right there he says that uh, Trump's a little wishy-washy on the Second Amendment and that he would be writing in Ron Paul. Now, Trump did have a moment where I didn't agree with him at all when it came to the Second Amendment, and that was the ban of bump stocks. Because you, you give an inch, they're going to take a mile. And they've always wanted to take away our right to defend ourselves. That's why we're not, you know, we're not like uh, other countries that don't have a way for people to defend themselves to where the government's ruling everything tyrannically. Because we have the freedom to protect ourselves and the United States from tyranny with the Second Amendment. That's the whole reason why the Second Amendment is there. Now, Trump did come out during the Rittenhouse trial in his support. So one would understandably assume that he would be supporting the 2024 Trump campaign. And we'll get further into that and why I think that's it's a little bit of... Uh, an outreach, an overstep for people that think that. I mean, it's safe to assume uh, completely, but not necessarily. Uh, Trump has been silent on the topic, dealing with almost being assassinated on July 13th and running for the 47th president of the United States. But somebody created a fake social post. I think it was Truth Social because it had a red check mark instead of the blue check mark. Now, I have the post here that shows the. Trump post. Now, there's one thing you guys need to know about this, and I said it before, it's fake. How do we know it's fake? I have this over here. The community notes saying that they edited out the word parody. So we got people coming out and trying to cause beef again with Trump and Kyle Rittenhouse whenever it's entirely false. Trump has remained absolutely silent. I don't have true social, but my brother does, and I asked him to comb through Trump's um, posts and there is nothing out there nothing and if this was absolutely true that Trump had come out and said that there would be been millions of replies there would have been reposts or whatever it's called on social of people making comments about this if Trump himself had come out and said something like that that you saw on that Twitter or that uh, post then he would have had people coming in and talking about it endlessly that post of his would not have disappeared so any of you that are sitting back and probably thinking well he could have deleted it no there would have been millions at least hundreds of thousands of reposts and comments made on that uh, post of his um, so now Rittenhouse has come out recently and backtracked his position of a write-in to be in favor of Donald Trump which he posted on Twitter and I'll have it here in a nutshell he says, after talking with people for hours on end, I have decided to remedy my issue of writing in Ron Paul and fully supporting Donald Trump. Now, don't really have a problem with that. He has the right to do that. However, I don't like the fact that he kind of leaves it open-ended because it sounds like he was influenced or coerced. And I got some tweets coming up to kind of support the concept of being coerced into voting for Trump. Now, just like with religion, I don't think someone should be forced into it. It should be a choice made by that person for their particular interests. Do I want everybody to be saved and go to heaven? Yes, absolutely. But I, I, I believe in the Bible, it says we're not supposed to force people to do that. Just like with politics, I don't think anybody should be forced into um, choosing the person that they're going to vote for. He had a reason with Ron Paul. I don't know what the reason was because I've been looking and it doesn't really say how Ron Paul looks at the Second Amendment. Um, uh, and, you know, um, with everything that's happened, Trump's really the only one that makes sense. I mean, that's why they tried to off him on July 13th at his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. It's the only one that makes sense because why would they try to kill off someone they're not scared of? And why are they scared of him if all he's doing is putting America first? Why is that something that needs to be literally terminated? And that's the reason why I believe, personally believe that Trump makes sense. Um, I believe that every American, though, has the right to vote for whomever they want, regardless if the people agree with your choices or not. I don't agree with Biden supporters. They don't agree with me. Kamala Harris don't agree with her supporters they don't agree with me that's the beauty of the United States that's the cornucopia of differences we have that the United States has to offer everybody and every one of its citizens <clears throat> now if you don't know Adam Krigler Adam Krigler was on Tim cast 
Um, and then he was on the Side Scrollers podcast, which I have featured a bunch of their videos on here as well, um, doing reactions and stuff, especially when it comes to the Chris Tyson stuff, which I'm still looking into, by the way. And Mr. Beast has not handled that situation at all properly. Um, but Adam Krigler, a popular political commentator over on Rumble, because I don't think he'd be able to get away with anything he says over here on the tubes. And I'm barely skating by, I think. Um, stated it damn near perfectly with the tweet. And I'm going to put it up on the screen here in a second. I'm just going to bring it up so I can read it for you guys, or with you guys, I guess. So that way we can all look at it at the same time. Krigler. I don't know why my laptop takes forever to fucking load a picture. It's stupid. Okay, so Adam Krigler says, I don't even know if Kyle, or I didn't even know if Kyle was a Trump supporter or not. I supported his right to defend himself and was glad to see the outcome of his trial. People acting like he is some traitor now simply for voting how he wants have having convictions. If anything, I respect him more. Yeah, so Kyle is voting for who, or was going to vote for who he believed was the right choice, which is what every American should do. Every person should do. I would like to hope that there's some semblance of facts behind that choice. And again, I don't know if there was some facts that Rittenhouse was using to um, make his decision whenever it came to Ron Paul, because I didn't see any posts of his that um, cemented why he was choosing Ron Paul. But the fact that he was willing to come out and publicly say that he was going to vote for somebody he thought was right, opposed to the one that's the head runner. Yeah, that, that takes a little bit of balls. And I hope he didn't change his mind for 44,000 people leaving his social media. Because if you're making choices about people leaving social media, I would have been off this platform a long time ago. I have lost a shit ton of people. And I'm only at 631 subs. Not saying that 631 is not a lot. I appreciate every single one of you. But I'm just saying, if you're basing decisions off of how many people you lose on social media, get off social media. Because you're going to win some over with some of your... Um, ideology and beliefs and things that you come out and say, and you're going to lose a lot more. I'd probably be at about 1,200 people right now. But I had some videos that were spicy and people didn't like them. That's just how social media works. And if you're going to base it off of how many people you lose, 44,400, then you're not doing the right things for the right reasons. I'm sorry. And what does this all come to? So there was one guy, let me make sure I get his name right. So there was one guy that had what I would call an extremely un-American take called slash known as, and I'm going to butcher his last name, Joey Manarino is how I'm going to attempt this, um, by stating some really outlandish takes, including he states that Kyle should have been found guilty and basically every person that supported him had wasted their time. Now, I'm also going to be pulling this up. I don't know why it closed. I didn't close it. Stupid computer. But <clears throat> we have, where are you, Kyle? There you are. Or Joey, I mean, sorry, Joey. So Joey number one says, at this rate, I wish they would have found him guilty. So many people wasted money on him, time on him, etc. And he does this to us. No, fuck him and the horse he rode in on. Now, you can have a hot take. That's perfectly understandable. You just had somebody that you supported through thick and thin come out against something you believe. Look, just because someone or, yeah, you support somebody doesn't mean just because you support him, they now have to think like you. They now have to believe like you. They're an American citizen. Kyle is an American citizen. And I use there to express a multiple of other people. Yeah, because someone's going to be like, no, you're using pronouns. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is any American, hence the there word that I was using, that is supported by people doesn't have to believe the way they believe. You can believe the same things to the same, uh, to some extent, or you can believe in different things. It's That's the whole beauty of the United States. That's our cornucopia. But after Kyle backtracked and changed his mind, Joey put this out. Kyle Rittenhouse apologized and came back to MAGA. We can now stop attacking him. That's the line I want you to focus on. This is why you have to put intense pressure on people. He likely saw everything flash before his eyes and came home to where he belongs. Good on him. He better prove himself loyal now until November 5th. That line right there. We can now stop attacking him. 
is exactly what Democrats do to their people to keep them in check, to make them fearful. And the fact that we have a supposed Republican, someone who is supposed to be voting for Trump, is painting us in a bad light because that's what Democrats do against their own people. Fear monger, keep them in check. And that is not what we do, Joey. That is not what we do. Yes, I am calling Joey personally out. Joey, if you see this, I'm going to be posting on Twitter. I'm going to be tagging you in it. I'm going to be tagging Kyle Rittenhouse into it. I'll tag Trump into it. I don't give a fuck. I'll tag whoever the fuck I want to in this post. But that was an extremely un-American and very, very current-day Democrat thing to do. To fear-monger Kyle into siding with your beliefs is absolutely insane and sickening to see. Again, he can have a completely opposite opinion you don't agree with. Oh, well. Welcome to America. Welcome to the internet. Welcome to everything. Welcome to real fucking life, Joey. Drives me insane. Um, let's see. I I, I kind I kind of script these out a little bit just so I I have a way to talk now. Let's see. So I'm at the end of the video apparently. Um, <clears throat> the first time that Kyle had controversy was for self defense. Crossed state lines with an AR-15 and defended not only himself, but I guarantee you other people. Because if those people wouldn't have come after him, they would have found a different target to go after. That's those kind of people. He needed support then. Everybody and his mother pretty much was trying to shoot him down, literally, and send his ass to prison for the rest of his life for simply defending himself, which is the most American and humanly thing possible. Even Jesus said to go sell your uh, cloak and buy a sword. We have the right to defend ourselves, our family, and property. We have that right. Not as an American. Not as a Russian. Not as a Venezuelan. Not as a Brazilian. Not as a Puerto Rican. Not as an Antarctican, if that's even a fucking word. Basically what I'm trying to say is, it's not based off of one certain area. Everybody has the right to defend themselves. You're just allowed to do it more in America. Because we have the Second Amendment. It's very readily available for you to defend yourself and your family. There are multiple instances where if it wasn't for the Second Amendment, horrible things would have happened. Horrible. About a decade or so ago, we had that dude walking into a church and start shooting people. And that dude pulled out his pistol and fired and got the guy. So the dude hit like two people, which could have been a whole lot worse if the dude hadn't pulled out his handgun and stopped him right then and there. And just because people go and support somebody doesn't mean that their vote is then bought for based off of the people that supported them. That's not how that works. It can hurt to see that he decided to go with someone else, but that doesn't mean he has to be forced to go with that someone else. That's not how that works. If I go out and let's say AOC's in the middle of a gunfight, right? Let's say her protection details down, she's being attacked. And she's being attacked by malicious people. Uh, I, I'm going to go help her. I'm sorry. Nobody should be put in that situation. Nobody should be put in that situation. And because I go help her in this hypothetical scenario doesn't mean she needs to come back and be a Republican. That's not how that, I mean, I would like to hope that after being in a situation like that, she would change parties. But that doesn't mean she necessarily has to switch over to be a Republican now. That's not how that works. I, I, anybody that's put in a firefight where they have to defend themselves or their family, I would support firing back. If they're defending themselves from someone who is maliciously attacking them for whatever reason and doesn't have like any reason to, fine. Because AOC is a complete and utter fucking idiot, but that doesn't give anybody the right to go and hunt her down. None. Same with people on the side with Trump. Same with the people, whatever. The only people that have, I can't say because I don't want to, you know, find myself self-deleted in some warehouse somewhere or in a bathroom, you know, tub or whatever. But you can probably guess who I'm talking about here. And then the dude, the, dude, the, the fact that he said that we can now stop attacking him is a very Democrat behavior, which I stated before. And it is disgusting. It is not right. That is not what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. If you're one of those people that finds it okay to attack Kyle Rittenhouse because he had a different belief than you. That is not what America's for. That is not what we stand for. At least that's not what we used to stand up for. That might be what a lot of people think now we stand up for, but it's not. It's It can't be. Because the moment we start doing shit like that on both sides, 
we fall into one side. We become a uniparty. We might like to call ourselves, but then we're all rhinos, Republican in name only. If we don't hold ourselves to higher account than Democrats do, just become a Democrat. Get out of our side. And again, I'm not Republican. I'm more of a conservative slash libertarian. I haven't really figured out which one of those sides I fit into. Because a lot of Republicans don't have the backbone to do anything. But if you're going to do that Democrat behavior of fear-mongering, fuck off. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I just have one simple request, of course, for the people here in the States, is be American. Go vote for who you want to. It's your right. I would like to hope that you have some form of evidence to support your claim or something that the person has said policy-wise that you agree with. And that's why you're voting for them, not just because they're they're popular or they go against the popular guys. So that's why you're voting for them. No. I'm hoping that you're making votes, especially since we're getting very, very close to November, based off of policy, not personality. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you. I am back. I am going to be working on videos. Let's, I'm going to see how that goes with um, all this stuff, you know, with all the family running around and shit. And let me know what you thought down in the comments below. That's what the comments are there for. And if anybody says anything later on down the road, no, I don't hide any comments. If you put spicy words in said comments, YouTube hides them. And if they're spicy enough, I can't look at them because there's an option where I can look at show hidden comments. And if they're too spicy, YouTube has a message that says, been deleted because of X been deleted because of why so I don't delete comments I allow every comment again I believe in the freedom of speech you can agree with me you can disagree with me you can hate me or you can love me that's just how the world works again let me know what you thought down in the comments below and I'll catch you guys later